LSE's data science degree has just a 4.5% acceptance rate and maybe worse, only 25 places available. So you really need to be able to stand out from the crowd in order to get an offer. Luckily today, we're gonna to go through some quick fire tips and tricks to give you the edge over other candidates. Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've worked and built a network of over 1,000 ex-university admissions professionals and professional applications consultants such as myself. We are so proud to have a 92% acceptance rate through our premium services of helping candidates to get in. And today, we're gonna to be sharing some of those tips and tricks with you for free. Now, this course has an A star AA requirement, although the average offer holder will have two A stars and one A. So it's good to be above that minimum requirement if you can. It's also worth considering politics and data science, mathematics and data science, or even math, stats and business, the related courses, all of these have slightly higher acceptance rates. So it can give you a slightly higher edge if you weren't aware of those courses. My number one tip for this is to take further maths if your school offers it. It is expected. However, I'm glad to say only 25% of candidates have further maths of this course, much lower than other courses. And even as much as three years ago, it was nearly 50% of offers holders had it. So further maths is becoming a lower requirement at LSE in general, but still it gives you an edge if you can do additional maths for this course. My number two tip and very LSE specific is to mention LSE's Data Science Institute in your personal statement. This gives a huge nod to the fact that LSE is one of, if not your top choice. And if, by you, if you go to a public lecture at this institute and mention it in your personal statement, you seem like a really well-researched candidate. You can talk about that topic and do additional readings because 70% of your personal statement should be on academic readings to give you the edge and give LSE the nod that they might well be your first choice really sneaky chip tip there to give you the edge over other candidates. My third tip is to learn Python and or SQL. These are very different languages, but SQL is often used in data structuring. And by learning the elements of it, maybe through a free online course on Coursera, you might be able to get somewhere like MIT onto your CV and even a certificate on top. edX are also doing many fantastic courses now for free or paid for certificate. By self-studying and putting all of this knowledge into your statement, what have you built using these languages, using these softwares, you can really stand out for the crowd and massively increase your chances of getting in over another candidate. LSE quite like you to have a career focus. Now use the jargon. Are you gonna be specializing in data structures? Do you understand the different sorts of data structures and what pushing and pulling and stacking and popping data is? If not, I strongly recommend you start with a YouTube video on an elementary introduction to data science and from that, go and find a topic you're interested in, read about it and put it into your personal statement. Then finally do some career research and tell them what sort of job you are looking to apply to, what desk, what industry, and are you going to specialize in a specific field? All of these specifics are what help you to get in. Lastly, as always, go and talk to your referee. Make sure they know about your passion for data science. This is particularly important for a course which doesn't have an A-level or IB uh, parallel, so it's harder for your school to know what your interest is in this subject. Talk to your referee directly, and they can give you a huge advantage if they give you the double thumbs up in what they write. Their reference at LSE will be looked at before your personal statement. Now, if you found that helpful, please do like and subscribe, comment, I get back to as many comments as I can, and I even have an LSE exemplar statement using my own five point pillar framework so that you can make your personal statement writing a breeze. Lastly, if you'd like to talk to our team for a free consultation, please contact us using the information on screen now or in the description below. We'd love to talk about how we can help you boost your application chances above that 4.5% with our premium services. Most importantly, good luck.